Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read you yet another article claiming that Pelosi uh, is victorious. She claims victory. This is the New York Daily News. Pelosi's gambit worked brilliantly. How her delay in sending the articles of impeachment paid off. Uh, No, it didn't pay off. She's not getting the witnesses she wants. Nobody cares. It's a show of weakness. She claimed that they had to impeach Trump right away. Then she delayed the articles of impeachment long enough to harm Bernie Sanders to ensure that he wouldn't be in Iowa when he has to be. Um, This is just really... um, It's really interesting. There's... There's nothing that they can do where there's no defeat they can experience where media will say, okay, well, that was pretty bad. There's just no defeat they can ex- they'll can they experience. Everything is going to be um, spun into some kind of victory. It's usually a Pyrrhic victory or just an outright loss that they weave into some kind of you know win. Let's read this. Last spring, when the report of special counsel Robert Mueller's documented 10 instances of obstruction, and yet Mueller didn't indict. That's funny how that happened. And you can't say that Comey, uh, like Comey didn't indict because he was covering up Clinton's crimes. Mueller didn't want to cover up anything. He was President Obama's FBI director, and he was basically an extension of the Democratic Party. If he had something, he would have indicted. But here last spring, when the report of special counsel Robert Mueller documented 10 instances of obstruction of justice by President Trump, none of which are in the articles of impeachment by Pelosi. I wonder why. Progressive Democrats urged U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to begin an impeachment investigation. Pelosi resisted until Trump forced her hand by trying to pressure the... (laughs) I love this. By trying to pressure the Ukrainians into announcing investigations of political rival Joe Biden. That, That hasn't been proven, by the way. That's part of the neuroses and eccentricities of Democrats. That has not been, there's no direct evidence he tried to pressure Ukraine. And President Zelensky and his predecessor, Poroshenko, stated there was no pressure. But here, let's continue. What a win. What a victory for Democrats, as always. You know what? It's funny because when Clinton, who will be the nominee, is asked, um, well, you know, you're going to run again? She's like, well, I can defeat Trump again. It's like, no, you didn't defeat him the first time, actually. You'll lose again the second time, but let's continue. Pelosi resisted until Trump forced her hand by trying to pressure the Ukrainians into announcing investigations of political rival. No, I love this. Joe Biden is no longer a Democrat who might have engaged in criminal activity. He's a political rival. When the Southern District of New York goes after Trump, he's not, they're not going after Democratic Party political rivals. They're going after Trump. When Mueller went after Trump, he's not Democratic Party politi- political rivals. It was just, you know, the country was going, it was doing what's right. And the discredited Russian propaganda line that Ukraine, not Russia, interfered in the 2016 presidential election. Um, okay, the ODNI and DHS reports, the intelligence community reports state with confidence that Russia interfered. They don't even state with certainty. We have no clue. There's never been a study done of votes that are linked to Facebook ads or to the DNC emails. Hillary Clinton was in Arizona. She was in Arizona six days before the election. I don't think she was worried about um, Russian interference. When, When they lost, suddenly the pivot took place, and then it was, oh my God, Russian propaganda. After the House approved two articles of impeachment that didn't list obstruction of justice, that didn't list the Mueller probe allegations, that didn't list any crimes, no crimes in the articles of impeachment, fact, all subjective. Obstruction of Congress is subjective because Congress should never be asking, should never be inqui- there should never be an inquiry into Trump withholding military assistance, President Obama withheld military assistance unilaterally without, without congressional approval, regarding Egypt in 2013. And now that was even documented in the Daily Beast as a secret um, unilateral decision of President Obama's. But here, after the House approved two articles of impeachment against the president on December 18, 2019, Pelosi boldly shattered precedent and delayed her... Exactly. I love this. 
you know, circumventing precedent because you have no case is suddenly boldly shattered precedent and delayed their transmission to the U.S. Senate. She hoped to pressure enough Republican senators to join with Democrats to authorize and advance the production of presidentially blocked documents and witnesses, principally former National Security Advisor John Bolton and acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney. Well, they're not testifying. They're not testifying now. And guess what? If they testify... Um, then, then guess who else testifies? Um, Hunter, um, Hunter, who else? Joe, intelligence operative, shifty. They're always barking up the wrong tree. They're like, oh, what? You have to, you should hear, um, you should, you should hear from, uh, the witnesses we want. Not, not the witnesses that you want. Well, sorry, doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. If Democrats get witnesses, so do Republicans. And Republicans are going to demand that, that Hunter Biden testify. So she hoped to pressure enough Republicans, but they, she still doesn't have enough Republicans. So... The effort failed, but Pelosi's strategy still... I love this. I love this. So, <laughs> the effort failed, but Pelosi's strategy still succeeded brilliantly. Really? How is that brilliant in any way? How is that brilliant in any way, shape, or form? During the nearly month-long delay, events coalesced that may well challenge the course of the trial and perhaps the history of the United States and the world? Uh, no. No. If anything... Um... If anything, you you have um, Pelosi and Democrats losing yet again. Uh, Trump's going to be acquitted. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the Senate trial. Um, and uh, swing state voters and independents are opposed to removal and impeachment. So the effort failed, but Pelosi's strategy still succeeded brilliantly. No, it didn't. During the nearly month-long events, event, okay, uh, delay, events coalesced that may well change the course of the trial and perhaps the history of the United States and the world. Not really. We have record low unemployment, record low black and Latino unemployment, 5 million people lifted out of poverty. That's a conservative estimate. 12.7% on, on, uh, poverty rate under President Obama in 2016. 11.3%. By 2000 and, uh, end of 2018, 2019, it was probably uh, much lower because the economy kept moving. People are working. Household median income is up. Wages are rising. Tell me again how like we can't have this. The key demographics, key demographics that vote Democrat are doing better under Trump than President Obama or even Bill Clinton. So, Democrat like Trump, you know, in many ways is an existential crisis to Democrats. Had Pelosi immediately transmitted the articles, the Senate would likely have quickly dismissed the case. Yeah, well, uh, this, this is a great admission in, in, this, in this article. Yeah, because the case was so weak and flimsy. It still is. Now there's a realistic chance the senators will vote for a, a real trial with documents and witnesses. Um, yeah, both sides. Both sides will have document, but documents and witnesses. Oh, and guess what? The affidavit signed by Shokin stating that, that Biden uh, forced him out because of Hunter... Oh yeah, that's going to be part of uh, the the uh, that's going to be part of the narrative. Also, oops, oops, sorry, Democrats. You want documents and witnesses? Defense gets documents and witnesses. Also, Trump also gets documents and witnesses. So now there was a realistic chance the senators will vote for a real trial with documents and witnesses. And newly revealed evidence buttresses the House articles on abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. During the delay, Bolton changed course on his willingness to testify. He now says that he will comply with the subpoena. <laughs> yeah. Already, several Republicans have signaled their openness to witnesses and documents. Just four Republicans would have to join 47 Democrats and, uh, for a majority of 51 senators. Yeah, but those four Republicans are open to Republican witnesses, too, even Mitt Romney. So there you go. Yeah. 
So, senators are not the only jurors in the president's trial. History will deliver its own verdict. Yeah, history will... Not only will history see Trump as a two-term president, but history will see the end of the current form of the Democratic Party after this election. Democrats lose again. Everyone will be me on the left. You already see it on social media, okay? I don't have Twitter. I don't have Facebook. But everyone is... you, You have establishment people insulting others by calling them my name, which is really hilarious, which is really hilarious. Oh, you're the next H.J. Goodman. You're the next H.J. Badman. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This, the, the, the Democratic Party, the, in its current form, and, I, and I'm going to also say media as well, and I'm going to also say social media, okay? Um... All of that is going to change dramatically, absolutely dramatically, in the next year or so. So, when Democrats lose again, the average Democratic voter will realize, my God, I've been taken for a ride. Because the average Democrat just looks, oh my God, Trump again, oh, I I didn't like him anyway. You know, or I should say... The average Democratic voter that's interested in politics is like fed this nonsense that Trump is on the ropes and that he worked with Russia, he withheld military assistance, his tax returns show corruption, and, and he'll get reelected. And they get, if you're on social media, retweeted and you're affirmed, all your absurd ideas are reaffirmed or sanctioned, legitimized. They're given. They're, lend, they're, they're given credibility on social media if you're a Democrat, okay? And it's still not enough. They're going after Facebook, which is hilarious, so hilarious. But here, regardless of how the Senate votes, Americans will make up their own minds about the trial and process and president's guilt or innocence. Yeah, the fact there's no direct evidence that he withheld military assistance because he's afraid of Biden's no malarkey bus tour. Um, yeah. That the American people are going to, not only will he win re-election, but like I said, it'll be the end of the current form of the Democratic Party. Their verdict will profoundly affect the outcome of this year's presidential election. Yeah. So, um, that ain't going to happen. This gentleman, by the way, is actually a great... The guy who wrote this, the gentleman who wrote this, is actually a very esteemed... And uh, I believe he's he's predicted elections pretty accurately. Um, it ain't going to work. None of this is going to work, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's kind of hilarious because Democrats don't realize... Every step of the way, media coddles and enables the Democratic Party madness to just, just the the media allows Democrats to create their own reality. Do you understand? They think that they're winning in impeachment. They're losing by every standard of measurement. They're losing swing state polls, independents, independent voters. Um, The average American doesn't really know what, what Trump is being impeached on. They don't care. They're working. The economy is great. That's all they care about. Give me your thoughts below. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. If you want to support my voice long term, my Patreon is below in the pinned comment and description. Thank you.